Hey, agents who win. Happy Monday here. Love you guys uh, starting the week out awesome. Uh, Todd Schroth here and Coach Daniel Betancourt wanted to bring you some value today. And we are live. Daniel, let's rock and roll. That's right. This is the official uh, first day, first business day of the year. Now that everyone's got all the uh, yeah. all the holiday vacations and uh, the, the official first Monday, the unofficial yes. first Monday of the year. And uh, awesome to be back and uh, back at it. So welcome, everybody, agents who win and everyone else watching. Uh, thank you for all of your support throughout last year. And we're, we're bringing you fire on top of fire on top of fire this year in 2022. We've got some nice outlines and so and a lot of things happen that we want to keep bringing to you guys. And last year was an awesome year for us. And you know, we want to bring even more to you guys on what we've got here. So... I think our big thing this year is going to be events and classes and education. And we've been having some conversations about what we want to do and what you guys want to learn, whether it's in office and or Zoom um, that we can bring in live into the channel. Uh, so, Daniel, let's talk about some of the things that we've got rolling out that you um, are putting together. Yeah. And what's cool about a lot of the things that we're doing, we're offering as many of them as we can virtual. And we're also going to be doing twice as many as we did live last year. So yes. if your preference is virtual, if you're outside of uh, Central Florida, uh, you can still join us on these adventures. Um, and if you're local, we'd love to see you at our in-person events that, that we'll also be doing. But, uh, you know, the first thing that is coming up is if there's anyone out there who is interested in getting into real estate, if you just found this, stumbled upon this video, you're on LinkedIn or something like that, and you're interested in getting into real estate, um, send me a message today at 12 o'clock. Uh, I will be hosting a career day for real estate agents, anyone who's interested in getting into real estate. Uh, we have that coming today at 12 o'clock. Uh, later today, we're kicking off our 12-week coaching program that we've been talking about for the last few weeks. Uh, last week was really cool because we kind of did a tailgate party, a virtual tailgate party and meet and greet. So uh, about half of the attendees were there last week. Um, and uh, it was cool meeting everybody. The other half were either out with COVID or they were on vacation still. So uh, the other half will be joining us today when we do the actual kickoff. So that's yeah, going to so, be exciting. Got um, the book, got got the book, the book right there. here. <laughs> so class starts today at 3.30. We did push it back a week just because, you know, it's still vacation week, vacation mode for everybody last week. And I think this is like, I'm excited. The kids are in school for a full week. Finally, after like, it seemed like groundhog day for three weeks over <laughs> Christmas, it was over and over and over. Like, come on guys, can we get back to school? Um, <laughs> I can't complain. Cause I wasn't at the house every day with him. You know, I love my wife for, you know, being able to manage all that. Um, you know, and the kids and anybody who's hanging out with the kids all day, you know, God willing. Um, they're good. And no complaints. Um, no but as we dive in, today. what's that? No excuses today to miss. No, <laughs> no excuses today. So going forward, if you guys want to dive into the 12 week, today is the official kickoff for it. Um, it is week one. So let us know. You jump on the career day at 12 and then also jump into the, the initial call at 3.30. We have some final slots that we can uh, get, get you guys into and get you on the initial email out. And we'll get things rolling for you. We want to get 2022 as a success for you. So that's our slogan right now. This this 12 week program is all about leveling up. So, you know, if you're in real estate and you're selling 20 homes a year, 30 homes a year, 40 homes a year, you want to level up. You're going to learn how to do that with this program. If you just got started in real estate and you've done a deal or you haven't done your first deal yet, this is going to get you on the fast track to success quickly. And so just join us. We're going to be meeting every Monday at 3:30 virtually. Send us a message. Leave a comment that you'd like an invite. Uh, it's today at 3.30, so we're going to be kicking that off. Um, so in addition to that, we're already planning out our schedule for the first quarter of this year for our in-person events. And uh, last year, we were doing uh, about two in-person events per month. Yep. And so we definitely want to build upon that. And so we have a couple of people that we're in talks with right now, just trying to solidify some dates. Uh, one that's coming up is uh, effective communication for business, how to level up and get more out of your conversations that you have with your customers and also your other professionals in your industry. Uh, and and it's that's going to be an amazing event. So anyone, if you can hear this, 
Uh, just stay tuned for that one. We'll announce the actual day and time for that one coming up. Um, and what else? I know you've, you've got a couple that you're working on. So um, call me on that one. I got to get the, got to get the list out, but uh, another one we want to get out there is video and how to do effective video more often. Um, I know you're talking, you're in talks with an agent who's actually very successful with that. And I can get Nick in here as well um, yep. to kind of do another live with us about why to do video and like, how to make it so simple. I was on the phone with an agent earlier about like, Hey, let's just, you know, he was talking about some things he wanted to do on video. And he's like, I'm, I've been telling myself I want to order that camera. I'm like, dude, just right here, use your phone. You know, yep. as John Taplack says, you know, you've got all your business in your pocket. It's right here. All I need is this in my tripod and I got my full movie studio rolling and That's everything right. he does is on his phone. So you don't need the fancy phone and cameras and all that stuff to get started. You know, get your cruise later. That's right. Social media and video uh, for business rather than yeah. just for fun or rather than just for entertainment. Um, social media and video for business. So that's something that we're working on lining up. Yeah. And uh, we have some lenders that are rolling out some cool programs. Uh, we also have some effective strategies. I know Todd and I were talking before this meeting about, you know, buyers out there having a lot of trouble getting their homes under contract. So we have a couple of really cool programs that are put in place to help buyers get their offers accepted in this competitive market because the market hasn't really slowed down any. Um, interest rates are starting to creep up a little bit, but uh, we haven't really seen any difference on the amount of offers that we're getting on our listings. How about you, Todd? No, I feel like we're in the spring market all over again last year, spring and summer, because I was out this weekend. And that's what I want to kind of ask you about some other, stra other strategies and also share a success story with one of our agents that just had and, you know, we were out, you know, and I don't know what's going on with our MLS, but I like Saturday, I pulled eight listings up. I just did a zero to two days to see what was on the market in that price range. Eight came up, sent them the best four, looked at them and three were no thank you. And one was like, all right, cool. Needed some work, but it had 10 offers on it. And luckily we got in the last day they were looking at, at offers. You know, we we're 30 grand over within a 10,000 escalation clause and still we, we lost the deal. And I had to have the education of that buyer. They said, well, we want to go VA on this one. I said, you can't go VA. You won't get it. You won't even be looked at. So we put the offer at 20% down, still lost it to somebody putting it on a $600,000 house half down. Ah, so like, yeah. What's some strategies, that's what I want to ask you, that you can coach on like competing on, on that level? I mean, it's like to if you've got somebody putting half down, it's a strong offer versus 10 or 20%. How do you make that 10 or 20% look stronger? And so in that in that specific scenario that you're describing, um, there are two vendors that we've been working a lot with lately that will that will totally approve the buyer in advance. So almost like a clear to close before they start home shopping and they will financially back the buyer's offer. And you can write an, you can write an offer without a finance contingency in there. The letter will say that the buyer is as good as cash and that'll make them you know super strong with no finance contingency. Uh, no appraisal contingency, and you've got a cash buyer that is backing your finance buyer. So that's there's two different vendors. I can name them if you if you yeah want let's do it. Name. Is that yeah. knock and ribbon? Yes, yes, knock and ribbon. We'll both write those uh, write those good as cash approval letters in advance. So uh, look them up, uh, knock.com and uh, ribbonhomes.com. What uh, we should so look at getting them into the show, I think, would be a great just educational series. That's yes. Nice. Yes. So those are those are uh, two of the vendors that we are uh, planning to present. And, um, you know, their program's awesome. We my team did a meeting with them just recently on Friday to get as many agents as we could on the team certified. So, cool. uh, you know, that's something that you definitely want to look into and appraisal gaps, you know. So I had a listing that I put on the market a couple of weeks ago and it was like 14 days on the market and it was kind of slow you know, during the holidays. And then all of a sudden in the last three or four days of those two weeks, I got seven offers, like pretty much nothing for, for 11 days. And then the last three days, seven offers out of the blue, all of a sudden. So I think it was just the buyers kind of getting back into the swing of things on that listing. But what made the difference, all of the offers had appraisal gaps in there. You know, if the home doesn't appraise, I'm going to pay the seller X amount uh, over the appraised value. So it came down to who had the largest appraisal gap. 
um, because, you know, a lot of sellers right now, they're pushing the envelope. Uh, if we want to get the listing, sometimes, I mean, we always want to support that right now in the seller's market. Um, but what happens is if the buyers are financed, we're going to run into an appraisal issue down the road. So a lot of times it's going to come down to which buyer is going to guarantee as much money as possible for the seller. So that could be waiving appraisal contingencies. That could be appraisal gap uh, offers, appraisal gap guarantees. Those kinds of things are, are what sellers are paying most attention to. No, that's good. And that's what we, I've got to have a further conversation on the appraisal gap. We've had it, but I need to dig into that a little bit more with them and just, you know, so they completely understand what we're doing with appraisal gaps. Because that's one thing we're not doing that they're very scared of. So we're, you know, we're obviously trying to offer over, offer escalations, et cetera. They're just not ready to do that appraisal gap. And we'll be on our fifth offer here coming up. Um, I think, I think sharing, uh, basically giving them the proper expectations and letting them know, you know, give them some anecdotes about your listings. In my last five listings, this, these are the buyers that got the listing. This is how many offers we got. And this is what made the difference to my sellers. And so I'm relaying these stories to you because this is also what's working on the buyer side. You know, my last yeah. five listings had an average of 11 offers. And at the end, the average appraisal gap was 2% of the purchase price, whatever it is. You know, you can have someone do all the math so you can come up with averages and uh, recommend that to your buyers in advance. So that way. You don't have to have that conversation when it's time to make an offer. You have that conversation before you start going out, looking at homes. So that way, when it's time to make the offer, they're already familiar with the concept and, uh, and you know, agreeable to it. Well, I think it's key too, because if you use the, if, and that's why agents need to understand both sides of the business, both listing and buying side. I've got agents who only want to work listings. Okay, cool. What are the buyers doing out there? Unless you're just looking at a bunch of buyer offers. But buyer's agents need to understand the listing process and actually take some listings and, and, and know what's going on or be very educated alongside a listing specialist. Because if I was only working buyers, I wouldn't know what's happening on my five, my last five listings. And so that's a great you know example to give them. You know, Don't just give what you've done or, or one listing one opportunity. Because when I sit and look at the offers I've had on my last five listings, they've had the appraisal gaps of like 20 grand. They've all appraised. And it's been no issues. So they haven't had to bring the additional money to closing. So have that conversation of like, you know, the success on them too. They've gotten the offer, et cetera, et cetera. Setting proper expectations yes. always helps the conversations later. So yep. when you're doing your, your buyer consultation in the beginning and telling them, explaining to them the, how the buyer process go, is going to go, I'd recommend having a bullet point about this topic and, uh, and discussing, them, discussing that with them in advance. So it's not a surprise uh, later on in the process. No, very smart. So, um, and I like the proper expectations. It's like knowing how to do that smoothly to them and, and having the conversation, not in a sales way, but an educational, um, opportunity for them. So one of our, our agents just had, um, she's 10 offers, you know, and finally gets one accepted a while back buyer gets cold feedbacks out. And it's like, Oh, you know, what do I do? Comes back after the holidays. And, you know, they're, and of course it's not like right in the backyard of our neighborhood. So she's driving 30, 40 minutes to go show the house and they're out going to look and they see a sign going in the yard and it's not listed yet. It's getting listed in the next 24 hours or that day. She calls the listing agent off the sign and says, Hey, can we see that house? We're in the neighborhood. What will it take for you guys not to put this thing on the market? And so she had some education with the, uh, with the agent and wrote the offer 10 grand over offered to pay some of the seller's closing cost and got the, and offered obviously an appraisal gap or appraisal waiver and got the deal no showings no multiple offers you know and like so if you guys are looking for listings drive neighborhoods to see when signs are being installed i mean because that's that sign that wasn't there yesterday is there today and it, it's a great opportunity you have to network with the sign installers and the real yeah. estate photographers. <laughs> well, it's kind of like, um, you know, Vic, how he puts his his uh, uh, map out there. Hey, guys, there's a lot of listings coming soon. And he's got the whole state of Florida covered with, you know, shooting photos. It's kind of crazy. Yes. But, you know, one thing that he's been talking about also is that the numbers, the numbers of, of photo shoots is increasing, which means the inventory should also be increasing, yeah. allowing buyers a little bit more opportunity um, you know, some other options are uh, home partners and uh, Divi, you know, Divi yep. homes for those buyers that 
their offer may not be so competitive, they can partner with a company like Home Partners or Divi and uh, have a better chance of getting the homes. I had a consultation with a buyer last week who uh, she's being coached by a past customer of mine who 10 years ago got down payment assistance. And so she wants down payment assistance. And I let her know that, you know, in this market that we're in, down payment assistance um, offers are not going to be competitive against the, the kinds of offers that sellers are accepting these days. So uh, we pivoted to home partners and uh, she got approved with home partners. And now we're searching for a home with a cash buyer who will be, you know, the top pick in a multiple offer situation rather than a down payment assistance buyer that would probably be put at the bottom of the uh, stack of offers in a multiple offer situation. So just keep that in mind out there. You all who are working with some of those entry level buyers who they have very little cash to work with, um, you know, rather than missing out on 20 homes, making 20 offers and drive, you know, uh, everybody losing faith that they can get a home, maybe partner with a Divi or a home partners and uh, get the first home that you make an offer on after three months of renting. They can close on it, you know, with their down payment assistance if they can get that and everybody's happy. And the home partners will, they're not like going crazy on price increases either. It's like 3%. So you might even pay more than 3% in that multiple offer situation. So, right. it, it, you know, cash, cash is, is always king. Um, and you put the story behind that offer you're sending in that these are buyers that want to buy it. They're just using this program to listing agent to, to be able to secure it and want to purchase because sometimes we just don't want to turn the neighborhood into a rental. Um, so if you say these guys are looking to buy it, it helps, you know, sell that story to the, uh, the listing agent. And to bring to bring this whole talk, you know, we're ending here just to bring it full circle to know about all of these different things that we're talking about. You have to be a student of real estate and you have to take advantage of all the learning opportunities when they present themselves. Yep. And, uh, you know, if you're just if you learn how to make an offer and you had some luck with that and you just try to keep doing the same thing over and over and now it's not working or it's less effective, it's because the market's changing and your knowledge level is not changing. So you want to take advantage of coaching and training and you know th these presentations that we're putting on because the the point of these we're not going to waste our time having someone do a presentation or ourselves doing a presentation on strategies that were effective 10 years ago but <laughs> think now um so we're we're doing things that are current with the market what's working and how you know you're going to have better luck with your customers your customers are going to write you better reviews and uh you're going to get more deals out of it so um, just, you know, consider signing up for the things that we're offering out there. And we look forward to partnering with you in those efforts. Yep. No, definitely. Guys, we appreciate your Monday here. We'll have a special guest on Friday with my show coming up. So we'll see you guys through the week. Have a great one. See y'all.